Welcome to our state-of-the-art art lab, the largest one at Science Co in that field. Here we combine biodegradability, microbiology, toxicology, ecotoxicology, and biotechnology for faster, safer, and sustainable innovation. Let's take a look inside and meet the teams in action. James, could you explain why this lab is important for your projects? I work for a team which is uh, trying to accelerate the bio-revolution for our customers. I'm responsible for a program called Biodegradables by Design, which is essentially trying to develop eco-friendly and sustainable products. Essentially what that means is we're trying to design our products to be as appetizing as possible for microorganisms in the environment. So this is what we call biodegradation. It's nature's way of recycling. And in order to be able to design products which are biodegradable, we need to be able to test their biodegradability. Hi, Mikael. Hi, Laurent. Could you explain how science co assesses environmental impact, especially biodegradability? Biodegradable product is key for our customer. In the laboratory, we conduct experiments for RNI and also for regulation purposes. Automation is a, a pillar of our innovation strategy. So we developed uh, internally specific uh, devices in order to test a large number of chemicals while varying the experimental condition. Hi Stéphane, what is the role of a microbiologist? In industrial microbiology, our RNI uh, focus to extend shelf life of the product. The aim is to meet regulatory change and consumer demand for reduced waste. Anel, can you share what in vitro toxicology is all about? On the top of testing biodegradability and ecotoxicity, we want to be sure that um, the substances are also safe for humans. And that's where in vitro toxicology comes in. Uh, from the idea to the final product, we collaborate with chemists to be sure of this safety. Uh, and for this, we develop innovative animal-free models. Emma, could you explain us how to use high throughput screening tools in biotechnology? Yeah, automation is essential to our project. The tool you see here allows us to run up to 48 tests in parallel with online and real-time monitoring. This significantly increases our productivity and allows us to accelerate the development and the commercialization of our biotech products. Guillaume, what ingredients are you developing in this lab? I'm using this fermentation bioreactor and our own microbial strain to produce natural ceramides that enters in the formulation of cosmetic formulation. And how can you assess it is natural? First, the ceramides are part of the epidermis. They are the cement of our skin. So by definition, it's natural. Then we are using natural raw material and we are using a fermentation process, which is a soft and ancestral process, avoiding the use of fossil materials. You say ancestral, so where is the innovation? Good questions, because we digitalize, we automatize, we robotize, and we analyze all this data and all these results to make our processes more and more efficient and more and more sustainable. I hope you enjoy this tool. We can't wait to co-innovate with you.